To the political scene now, Governor Pritzker facing new questions about his multi-billion dollar personal fortune. Yes, this comes after disclosure that the governor's so-called blind trust invested in a company doing business with state government. Political editor Mike Flannery joins us now with more on this. Mike. Anthony and Sally, a spokeswoman, said that Pritzker wasn't aware of the details of this investment until after his trustees made it. He did promise four years ago that it wouldn't happen, and Republican lawmakers today blasted him. Back in 2019, he was warned he should tell his blind trust operators not to invest in any corporations that had state contracts. Why didn't that instruction get made? Because if it had, this shouldn't have happened. Based on ethics disclosures filed by the governor, his trustees sometime in the year 2020 bought stock in St. Louis-based Centene Corporation. It's a company with contracts in Illinois and other states to manage government-paid health care programs for poor people. Pritzker's predecessor, former Governor Bruce Rauner, first hired Centene. Pritzker's administration extended and added to the contract. The governor's lawyer wrote in part, quote, his blind trust is just that. Potentially libelous. That we're never going to be able to get to the bottom of this unless the governor comes clean and gives full disclosure on exactly the size and scope of his financial holdings. That's the critical issue. So the governor's spokeswoman noted that the original source of this story, the Better Government Association, did receive a very large donation from Ken Griffin. He, of course, Illinois' richest billionaire and a man who's talked of spending big to defeat Pritzker this year. The governor, by the way, was also once a big donor to the BGA. I'm political editor Mike Flannery. Thank you, Mike.